Hello everyone, uh, Mr Cottrell here, I hope I find you all well. Um, so we're going to have a guitar lesson today and the first thing that we're going to have a go at is we're going to learn a G major scale. Uh, it's a nice little easy scale, um, it contains five notes that you already know, G through to D. Um, there's a few extra notes in there but I'll walk you through it um, as we go. On the screen now you should hopefully see that scale written out in music and tab. Um, the tab is six lines that represent the six strings of the guitar um, with the high string or the thinnest string being the line at the top of the towards the top of the page and the low E string being the line that's near the bottom of the page. The numbers written on those strings tell you which fret you need to put your finger at, uh, which is either going to be the second fret, the first fret, or the third fret. Um, so, here's what the scale should sound like. A little bit like climbing up a musical ladder. Okay, so we're going to do this, we're going to get our fingers nice and warm, and then we'll be ready to play some chords and a little melody. Okay, so the first note we've got is G, so we've got open G string, second finger goes on to the A at the second fret of that same string, we've got an open B string, C with the first finger, D with the third finger, open E string, sharp with your second finger and your last note G with your third finger. Okay, so if you need to, pause the video, play along to the music a few times, um, written on screen, and then we'll try and play through it together. Okay, so hopefully you've had a practice now. Um, so let's try, I'll play through it, see if you can play with me. So one, two, Your fingers should be nice and warm now from playing the G major scale. So let's have a go at playing some chords. I'm going to play three chords for you in succession. See if you can work out what they are. Did you get it? Did you work out the three chords? They're these three chords. G, C and D7. Pause the video and have a go at playing them. Okay, so now that you've had a practice, let's try playing them together. The music should appear on the screen now. You'll see that there are four bars. At the end of the four bars there is a repeat sign. So we shall go to the start and repeat the same four bars. Above each bar there is the letter name of each chord we're going to play. So you know when to play which chord. OK, let's have a go. One, two, three, four. Repeat. 
If you need to, pause the video and have a practice. Okay, so far in today's lesson, we have learned the G major scale. We've also played through three chords that you know. The next thing we're going to have a go at is we're going to play a little melody. It's based on Mary Had a Little Lamb or Merrily. So maybe it's Mary's Merry Little Lamb. Anyway, you can call it what you like. You can write your own song lyrics to it and sing along to it if you want to. Here's how it should sound. Okay, the music should be on your screen now. We're going to play through that once and then as you see on the music there's a repeat sign. Before we play through it together, let's go through and say the names of each note as they appear in the song. So, we're going to begin. B A G A B B B A A A B D D B A G A B B B B A A B Okay, if you want to, rewind the video a little bit and go through again saying the names of the notes. Okay, if you've rewound the video and had a go, a little practice, let's try playing it together. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Okay, if you need to, pause the video and have a practice. <coughs> We've come to the end of the lesson for today. We learnt the G major scale. We played three chords that we know, G, C and D7. We also played a little bit of a melody. Now I'm going to use the same three chords that we played earlier and make up a little tune just to play us out. Next